Nexat was one of the biggest surprises in the world of farming in 2021. A huge powerful system tractor, which with its size and efficiency beats everything we have known so far. One powerful machine that can be both the most efficient harvester in the world and after the fast conversion also a self-propelled seeder or sprayer. The authors of this unusual project are the Calver Camp family and in its development also several well-known brands such as Geringhof, Waderstadt, Kükerling and Daman are involved. How did the concept of the Nexat project was created? Is it actually the most efficient agricultural machine ever made? And who are its creators? Because you must know that although the name Calver Camp may not be known, they have been operating in the agriculture industry for many years and have many innovations under their belt. All about that in today's episode. My name is Mateo, welcome to my channel. I am a farmer and tractor enthusiast from Poland, introducing you to this amazing world of tractors and heavy machinery. If you like my video, please be sure to leave a thumb up and subscribe to my channel in order not to miss any of my new videos. And now, without further ado, let's jump into a story. The Nexat company was established in 2017 by Clemens Calverkamp and his son Felix. However, Clemens started his adventure with the farm machinery industry much earlier, already in the early 1980s. For over 30 years, he worked for the largest manufacturers of farm machinery as an engineer and head of development of such brands like Geringhof or Grimme. In 2017, he and his son established an independent design office, Calver Camp Innovation, which deals with the comprehensive development and implementation of machines, not only agricultural ones. He is a creator of the famous Krone Premos straw pellet production machine, awarded in 2015 with the Agritechnica gold medal. Since 2017, together with his son, he has been developing his own gantry tractor project called Nexat, which we will focus on in today's episode. Following its public debut, the Nexat project gained a lot of attention and won thousands of awards. A lot of people were also delighted with the extraordinary idea behind the Nexat concept. However, I have the strange impression that hardly anyone realizes that the concept of the so-called the gantry tractor is nothing new and its origins date back to the mid-19th century. It was then that the first versions of gantry tractors powered by steam engines were created, such as for example the English Holcat steam tractor from the 1850s. Around the same period, a similar project was developed by another Englishman, Henry Grafton. These concepts, however, did not gain much popularity and we had to wait until the 70s of the 20th century for another attempt to implement this idea. The true pioneer in the development of gantry tractors was David Dowler, also an Englishman. For nearly 20 years, he developed his own gantry tractor concepts under the Dowler Gantry System brand. During this time, many different prototypes were created, some of them were also imported to other countries, including Germany. Apart from Dowler, the Japanese, Americans and Australians also had their own gantry tractors. The prototype of the gantry tractor was also developed by Danish Asalift brand, and I could list it like that for a long time. To sum up, the Nexat is not a completely new concept, but just another approach to creating a gantry tractor for the 21st century. After all, the Nexat is the most powerful and technically advanced gantry tractor ever created. With such a colossus, other machines look like toys for little children. 
In transport mode, Vindex Sat is 15 meters long and 3.5 meters wide. In working mode, the cab and wheels or trucks, depending on the version, rotate perpendicular to the driving direction of the transport mode. Two dual Liebherr diesel engines with a total power of 1090 horsepower hidden in the central chamber of the tractor frame are responsible for powering such a powerful machine. Internal combustion engines drive a total of four electric generators, the power of which is transferred to four electric motors with a capacity of 200 horsepower each, which set in motion the drive system, allowing the machine to reach a maximum speed of up to 40 km per hour. The machine's cabin can rotate 270 degrees and can be lowered or raised to improve visibility or to exit the operator. The cabin can be raised to a maximum height of 3 meters and minimally lowered to a height of 1 meter above the ground. Despite this, the visibility from the cab to such a huge machine could be not enough, which is why the engineers equipped the Nexat with a set of cameras to monitor the most important parts of the tractor. Nexat is designed to work autonomously without the participation of an operator, but it is also possible to control it manually. All control is via touch screens and two joysticks located in the cabin. Yes, we will not experience steering wheel in Nexat, but this is not the first machine that has been deprived of a wheel. Ideal 10 combines equipped with the Ideal Drive Control System also do not have a steering wheel for a long time and the control is via joysticks. What definitely distinguishes Nexat are the modules and it's not only about their size and performance, but also how quickly you can switch between them. According to the manufacturer's assurances, the conversion of the tractor from one body to another takes about 10 minutes and the operator's work is kept to a minimum. So let's take a look at what segments Nexat offers the user. In my opinion, the most interesting segment is the Nexco Combine Harvester, the efficiency of which is estimated by the creators at 130 to even 200 tons per hour. This is almost twice as much as the largest combine harvesters from leading manufacturers, such as Class or John Deere. The Nexco module is based on the rotary threshing technology and is 100% the work of Nexat engineers. The material from the header goes through a 1.4 meter wide four chain conveyor to a transverse rotor with an impressing length of 5.8 meters. The mass falling on the rotor is divided equally to the right and left. For this reason, the combine leaves two swaths of straw behind. The sieve area is also impressive as it exceeds over 10 square meters in a combine harvester for the first time in history. For comparison, in the John Deere X9 it is 7 square meters and in the Lexion 8900 it is 6.5 square meters. The threshed grain goes to a tank with a capacity of 32,000 liters. Initially the creators predicted a tank with a capacity of as much as 45,000 liters, but during the tests it turned out that with a fully filled tank Nexat had a problem to drive up the hill. For the needs of the Nexco Combine, the leading German manufacturer Geringhof has also developed three headers. A 15.5 meter wide true flex grain header and corn and sunflower headers. The one for corn has a spacing of 70 cm and takes up to 22 rows at a time. The one for sunflower has a spacing of 50 cm and a working width of 30 rows. According to the manufacturer, it is not necessary to disassemble the combine headers for transport as they fold and fit parallel to the machine wall but even with the Nexat header folded at its side, it exceeds 4.5 meters, which will definitely prevent it from driving it legally on public roads. In addition to the Nexco Combine module, three more modules were developed in cooperation with Waderstadt, Kükerling and Daman. The first two are seed drills. For the needs of Nexat, Waderstadt has developed a combination of seed drill based on its carrier cultivator, spirit seed drill 
and the famous Tempo Precision Seeder. However, little is known about the module provided by Cockerling. More can be said about the sprayer modules developed by Daman. This smaller one has a tank with a capacity of 12,000 liters and a working beam with a width of 42 meters. The second, much more impressive one is capable of holding up to 24,000 liters of spraying liquid and is equipped with a 70 meters width beam. These parameters make the Nexat not only the largest combine harvester ever built, but also the largest sprayer ever built in the world. According to the manufacturer's calculations, one Nexat gantry tractor should easily handle the cultivation and harvesting of up to 5000 hectares per year. However, efficiency is not the only advantage that makes the Nexat system a real alternative to conventional land cultivation. One of the most important advantages of gantry tractors, which basically underpins the concept of such a solution, is reducing soil compaction and the number of passes. Well, this concept assumes that the gantry tractors move constantly along the same paths so that 95% of total area of the field remains free from compaction by the machine wheels or trucks. For comparison, it is estimated that in a typical classic model of cultivation, using an ordinary tractor and a machine pulled by it, as much as 20% of the soil is compacted. In Nexat system, only 5%. It is possible due to the fact that the tractor drives twice along the same path, because its wheels are located at the extreme ends of the working elements. This is impossible in a classic tractor. What is the future of Nexat? Hard to say. Previous attempts to implement mass production and popularize technology based on gantry tractors in large farms did not succeed well. Is it going to be similar with Nexat in the next 5 or 10 years? Hard to judge. At the moment, there are three Nexat tractors in use to work on a large farm in Ukraine and one in Germany. The tractor is expected to go into serious production by 2024 and the production of another 11 units is already planned. Whether these ambitious plans will succeed in the light of the circumstances we currently have in the world is not known, but I personally keep my fingers crossed for the development of this ambitious project and I would very much like to see how such a machine performs life. And that's all for today's episode. I hope you like my video. If so, be sure to leave a thumb up and subscribe to my channel in order not to miss any of my new videos. I also invite you to join our Facebook group Mateo Machinery for more interesting content about tractors and heavy machinery. You can find all the necessary links to our group or my social media in the description of this video. And now thank you for watching and see you in the next episodes. Bye!